In this video, we're going to take a look at two more database functions or D functions. The database functions all start with the letter D and they're followed by the name of another function that works in Excel as well. So the D count function and the D count A function are used to count either cells that have numbers in them in the case of D count or cells that have anything in them in the case of D count A. Now, before we get into the D functions, we're going to look at the ordinary functions that uh, do count and count A. So I'm going to put some labels in here first. So uh, I want to do count of trees and hit enter. And I've already right aligned that. So and then I'm going to do count of trees again in the next cell. And this one, we're going to use the count function. So it has to count a number column. This is our function. It's not actually called count numbers. The name of the function is count. Count is all that used to be here at one time, but somewhere along the way, Microsoft added the word numbers on here, I guess, to clarify a little bit. So it's selecting the wrong stuff, and we just need to tell it where the right stuff is. After we select the right stuff, then we should get a count of six. Now, if I go in here and delete one of these numbers, I get a count of five. Let's undo that, and we're back to six. Now, we're going to do the same thing down here, except we're going to use the count a function and we can just type that in that's not a big deal so we'll do count a and if there's a little tool tip here that says counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty so we could apply this to any one of the columns we could do the uh, e column e for the profits and since every row always has something in each one of those five cells it doesn't really matter which one we count here but i'm going to do the text column just to show you that it works with text. So we're going to do from A6 to A11. Okay, and close the parentheses and hit enter, and we get six trees. Now, if I go over here and I delete one of these, my count of trees changes because I'm counting the non-empty cells in column A. Let's undo that. If I go over here and delete one of the values, then the count of the trees changes using the count function because I no longer have a number there. Let's do a control Z on that. Now this doesn't make any sense with this example, but if I happen to have a number over here as well, uh, it still counts that because it's a non-empty cell. So this will count anything. This function, the count function, will only count cells that have numbers in them. Now there are two corresponding database functions. There's a dcount and a dcount A. So down here we're going to put some new labels. We're going to put count of apple trees and we do two of those and we'll do it two different ways and these have also been right aligned so let's go over here and we're going to do the d count function let's go to our formulas tab usually there's a book for these but the database functions are not in a book for some reason so you have to click on the insert function and then go to the database category and then choose d count and click on ok and when we're doing a D function, we have to tell it where our database is. Our database is over here. Make sure you include the column headings. The field, I can either put the number 5 in here. I can type the word profit. Or probably the easiest thing to do is just click on that profit column right there. And you see over on the right, it's the same as if I typed the word profit. Then it wants to know where our criteria range is. And our criteria range is columns, column A, cells 1 and 2. This means look in the tree column in any place where there is the word apple. Then I want you to count if there is a profit number for that apple tree. And we're going to get three for this because I've got a number for every single one of them. Okay. So if for some reason there's a missing number here for one of my profits for an apple tree, then this number here goes down to two. But let's undo that. Okay, so we have three apple trees, counting the rows where apple is in column A, and there is a number over here in the profit column. So I'm counting these three numbers right here in column E. Now we do another count of apple trees, but this time we're going to use dcount A. So again, let's go to our insert function button, do dcount A, and when you read the description, it says counts non-blank cells. So it would work with any one of these columns and it will also work with the tree column as well. So my database again is this range over here. My field is going to be the tree field this time and my criteria is look for apple in the uh, first field. 
Okay, click on OK, and it will tell me that there are three apple trees. So the count and count A functions and the decount and the decount A functions are all similar, but they do slightly different things. Make sure you know exactly what it is that you want to count before you try using one of these functions.